This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. kid from a regular all-american family <laughs> well here we are 8 8 a.m breakfast time in the normal household <laughs> my mother is preparing me an average early morning snack toast cereal juice perhaps um mm, looks uh, normal mother uh, what is it <laughs> My mother is a warm, caring person, but she drinks a little too much coffee. Also, she has sinus problems. It's quite normal for someone her age. She's been taking night classes in Japanese so she can communicate with father a little better. Um, my father is a, an accountant. He has a normal, respectable job, works an eight-hour day, and, and pays his taxes on time. I think I can... Be, here I'm getting ready for work right now, actually. I have a dog. His name's Monsieur Berfletet. It's French. It means Mr. Beefhead. I didn't name him that. I wanted to call him Spot. Hey, Spot. Come here, Spot. Spot. Good evening, citizens of Earth. Citizens of Earth origin or any other planet in the solar system. Hey, kids. Liven up your morning with Captain Sarcastic's Mightyos. The super sweet, ultra crunchy, fuel injected, power packed, protein puff. The cereal endorsed by the world's wisest and highest paid superhero. Me! It's really good. Kitties. <laughs> Mr. Flying Pod has just entered the Earth's atmosphere. Seconds remain before certain death rains from the heavens, slaughtering, maiming, and disfiguring most of the people you know. Have a nice day. for Bobby and Billy. Hooray! A birthday party! You boys will need to buy a gift. And don't forget those manners. Oh boy! Party favors! And refreshments. Everybody's having fun. What are you up to, Billy? Must be pooped. Good to see you didn't shirk your duty. Coming up next. Winter Steel. I know you're gonna dig this. <laughs> Yeah, 
I'll take your money, you dumb suckers. It's worth it just to see you drool like orangutans and beg for abuse. Thank you very much. Now I can do something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Growing up at the orphanage might have made me a maladjusted and screwed up individual. I hope you like cream of booger soup winner steel. We're gonna make you drink the milk that Victor blew out his nose. That'll teach you to sell pencil shavings wrapped up in paper supposed to be illegal cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I spent all my bake sale money on that white paste you told me I'd see Christmas if I ate. You sold me the stuff you said was supposed to be chewing tobacco like the baseball players got. Girl, I know this ain't nothing but a hunk of that welcome mat outside the craft room that disappeared. Put anything in my mouth and nuns will have to knit you a new set of thumbs. Eat it! If it weren't for the crow, Dave Dickerson, he taught me to love pain because pain inspires revenge. And revenge is one of the most beautiful and perfect things under heaven. Here's 400, now take off. Hey, whoa, I can get in a lot of trouble with you. You can't drive that thing. Here's another hundred. Come back in an hour, and maybe I'll take you for a wild ride on my hog. Okay, okay. If I don't get into trouble. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Die, you orphanage! Die, you stone hunk of trash! I only wish the nuns were still in it! Woo! 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 All I gotta do now is put my signature on it. They sent us away from each other. Thinking that we become nice, unthreatening citizens. Here, Crow and Winter, since you guys are being shipped off to different nightmarish juvenile youth authority institutions, we made you a nutritious snack. Get out of here next. Ah! We weren't interested in forgetting. He's still got something in mind. And I'm gonna chase the road until I get it back. That Crow guy is one lucky son of a bitch. Yeah? I wish I had a hot piece like you looking for me. Say, I'll give you a choice. You can give me $49.50 for the tattoo, or you can let me cop a feel and stick my tongue in your mouth. <laughs> How about it? How about giving it to me as a farewell present? Hey, ain't you gonna pay me my $49.50? Keep the change. You can con me winter if you want to. Why is you can't enjoy other women? Oh, please, come back. You're so enigmatic. You may never find your winter steel. I have many more sensual massage oils and different smell and flavor. Yeah, what? You told him to meet us here? You imbecile! Exterminator. Any problem with roaches, ma'am? You'll never take me alive! I never said I was going to. Welcome to Timbuktu. There are 30 million names in the Naked City. I can only pronounce half of them. Mine's easy, though. It's Dharma. Brad Dharma. Psychedelic detective. The case I was working on started like any other. Atmospheric lighting, rain-slicked streets, obligatory voiceovers. I had been on a trail of a gang of rogue gurus who had been running mantras across zone lines. This had upset the hipster elders of the city, who didn't want to offend the karma police and their monopoly on nirvana. The use of bootleg chants was a serious felony. Check it out, man. The Maharishi wrote it himself. Just count to three. And your bean sprouts will live happily ever after. Hey, man. What are you, a caffeine freak? No, I'm the fuzz. Oh, great. What are you going to do? Beat us up or something? Yes. Comics code. I got orders. I punched out their leader for no particular reason before taking on the other two. 
Hey man, my teeny. Before I could pull myself together, their leader made a break for it. I decided to give him another shot at reincarnation. Have a nice trip. Awesome job, Damo. Wicked piss. All right, get these chowder heads out of here. to Atlanta for tennis. That's what she says. How about over there by here? No. Bill, well, where are we going to set up? Just keep a driving. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Are you sure this is a good spot? A relieved shopper is a paying customer. Just you remember that. Uh, remember what? Never mind. Just bring him a genuine gold watch. The one I bought off that fellow wearing the ski masks. Well, Bill, I sort of swapped it. Swapped it? For what? Guy in the Sky Products, Cha Cha Pet, the furry grow at home friend. You see, Bill, you just sprinkle these magic seeds on it. And... Cha Cha Pet, I'll show you Cha Cha. <laughs> I'd just like to say that I always thought you looked a little bit like Randy Travis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jeez, thanks, Bill. Well? Well, what? Say something nice about me, damn it. for the watch, Hulse. Mother asked me that once. I told her it was a man's watch. I told her I'm a good man. Willis, I suggest we get out of the bags and put the pedal to the metal. Over here. There it is. 
Hey, Bill. Off your sports bottle. <laughs> Put that blame thing up before I'll pitch it out the window. I don't know what's got into that boy. No, really, Bill. Let's push this here. Nah, get it out of my face. Look at the road. Look at the road. Let me have a look. Don't mess with me. I got enough hair on my butt. I don't even have a whole blanket. Come on, boys. Let's go camping. Shh. Look. Isn't Mother Nature wonderful? Now that wasn't nice. Camping's not all fun. And now there's work to be done. Doesn't that look good? Nothing beats the feeling of cooking outdoors. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's sack time. Uncle Louie, where are you? Okay, Joe. You've got 60 seconds till lunchtime. Let's keep everything normal, okay? Okay. It's the neighbors. It's the neighbors. It's not me. It's the neighbors. Shut up! Shut up! Five, four... Three! I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! I'm normal! I'm normal! My name is Susie. <laughs> that tickles! So, you ever do a Danish king? <laughs> I wish, I wish I could reach the remote. Got it. I wish I was watching Channel 5. Pardon. What? You repulse me. You repulse me. Master! At your command, you have untold powers limited only by the breadth of your imagination. I know, I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I need a beer. Got anything imported? Beer! Imported beer! <laughs> Stuborg Gold. It's the beer of Danish kings, you know. So? <clears throat> so you ever do a Danish king? Wouldn't you like to know? Turn me into a Danish king. You want to make out? I'd rather be strapped to a plank and devoured by fire ants. Master. Well, if that's the way you feel... And scramble the porno channel. You're not a king. You're not even a man. You know what you are. You're a genie junkie. I can quit anytime I want. Without me, you couldn't even pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, no. Just watch. What's happening to me? You turn me into this. How may I serve you, master? What is your wish, master? When all along, you've been the master and I've been the slave. Pick me a winner. I will pick a winner. You know why? Because I am a winner. I don't need your magic anymore. I'm going to make something of myself by using the magic in me. Bye. Come on along, he said with a smile. You don't have to love me, but let's get high a while. Try to understand, try to understand. Try, try, try to understand. He's a magic man. Hey, magic man, how about some service? How about I melt your head into a puddle of flaming brains? What am I doing? Must fight the urge. Must find the magic in me. C can't give in. Hey, Bloat Boy, I'm not getting any younger here. That's Lord Bloat Boy, puny mortal! Huh? Suprema! Suprema! <sighs> Yeah, what do you want me to do? Melt some cheese for you? No! Make me a god! god, god, god. Yes, master! Sorry. You, 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 you were amazing, Master. You know, I've never made it with a god before. I'm not a god. I'm not a man. I'm not even a mascot. Look at me. I'm nothing but a... JD junkie. You were amazing, Master. We'll be watching you on Cut Up Camera. Cut Up Camera. We'll see Cut Up Camera. Cut Up Camera. Horror movies. Ooh. Stephen King novels. People just love to be scared. I do. Don't you? But how scary is too scary? We thought it might be funny to find out. Now what could be more scary than a roller coaster, right? <laughs> but this is no ordinary coaster. Let's watch and see. So far, nothing unusual, right? But watch that first drop. It's a doozy. That's right. Our unsuspecting riders are going straight to hell. <laughs> you should always read those warning signs. Now, that was scary. But too scary? <laughs> Don't count on it. It just goes to show, people are stupid. The Blockhead, starring Blanche and Blaine Blockhead. I wonder how that annoying custom got started. What annoying custom? 
the custom of someone chewing popcorn loudly while someone else is trying to pay attention to a movie or TV show. Who's paying any attention to this? It's just a boring old cooking show. I'm trying to pay attention. I like this show. I learn a lot from this show. What is the point of learning anything if you don't do anything with that knowledge? I never saw you cooking anything French. Hey, why did you change the channel? I thought you hated wrestling. Well, what difference does it make? I can't hear the TV anyway, thanks to your loud chewing. Give me that. That was a spiteful, childish thing to do. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Just for that, I'm going to watch my favorite videotape. Oh, no, not that one. Howard Snipes, but Bongo Bloopers. For God's sake, Blaine, aren't you sick of that tape by now? Or do you just enjoy watching semi-nude women? Semi-nudity has nothing to do with it. I'm watching this tape for purely sociological reasons. Well, I'm not going to sit here and watch this crap. I'm going into the kitchen to cook something fresh. <laughs> There. Yeah. Why you, why oughta? My fabulous French cuisine. My Bauhaus coffee table. My complete print run of horny biker sluts double wrapped in my arms. My tropical iguana. If you guess this daily double correctly, you will have broken the Jeopardy record. What's that I hear? A Jeopardy record about to fall? What is the North American guava bat? No, the correct response would have been the South American guava bat. Sorry. Good. I'm glad she got it wrong. The idea of people earning large amounts of money on idiotic TV shows like this makes me sick to my stomach. You said it. You know, Blanche, it really doesn't matter if we don't have any appreciation for each other's interests or hobbies, so long as we share an intense hatred for so much in this world. You said it, Snookums. Ours is a love that is bonded by hate. What's this? A soapbox derby. Working with your hands builds strong character. Ouch. Say, that's gotta hurt. Get well soon, Dad. It's race day. Go!
c'est bête, il y a ma balle qui est tombée. Tu peux aller me la chercher Oh si Ouch! I'm bored. Life on the street is very dull. I need a vacation. If you go on vacation, I will need to shrink you with my shrink ray device. Ah, oh, that's much better. Thank you, Nardo. Well, I caught my plane on time. I'm hungry. Would you like insect or meat? Insect, please. Hmm, dead insect stuffed with sweetened curry sauce. Very delicious. Hmm, that was satisfying. Now I can rest. Oh no, I forgot to re-energize with the shrink ray. I'm returning to normal size. Where am I? Thanks for the fruit. That's a very nice ring you're wearing. Give it to me immediately. What have I done? I've murdered the rabbit who offered me fruit. What are you doing here? I've been looking for you, Thomas. Ever since you went on vacation, I've been homeless. Please, come back. I would like to, but I have no money. I must find a town where I can hawk this ring. Ah, we've come to a city. Oh, oh no! How? No. that really hurt. You're under arrest. Ready? Aim! I won't forget to re-energize this time. You make some friends, you make some enemies. That's what traveling is all about.
Bride of Auto Guard, a machine who craved manhood. A Gidget who craved machines. I'll make you a man. I'll give you a son. He isn't even a man. He's a killing machine. <laughs> Auto Guard 2000. Half man, half motor, half mercenary. Looking for love, but pre programmed to pulverize. <laughs> Tonight we take back the beaches! Brainchild of the Gearhead Druid Sisters at Our Lady of the Sloppy Clan. Auto Guard 2000 was forged in the fission of a bootleg nuclear reactor and trained in the art of cold contact beach combing. I want you, Auto Guard. Full war. Cleaned up the beaches of a serpent Sodom. <laughs> but could love survive where greed cuts budgets? Autoshop has served his purpose. Come Labor Day, we'll pull the plug. I realize that the town has upset you, but I'm your illegitimate steady. I won't be your doormat. Bride of Auto Guard. Machines are scum. I'm in my car. I'm high on decongestants and I'm driving anywhere. I end up at a squalid little dive somewhere in Vegas. Maybe Reno. Maybe Tahoe. I don't know. But there she is. I can't tell if she's human or fifth generation gynomorphic android. And I don't care. She moves closer to me. At this range, the downy hairs that trickle from her navel remind me of the fractal ferns produced by injecting dyed water into an aqueous polymer solution. And I tell her so. She looks into my eyes. You have the glibness, superficial charm, grandiosity, lack of guilt, shallow feelings, impulsiveness, and lack of realistic long-term plans that excite me. Right now, she says, moving even closer. I begin to kiss her, but she turns her head away. Don't good little boys that finish all their vegetables get dessert, I ask? I can't kiss you. We're monozygotic replicates. We share 100% of our genetic material. I open my shirt, exposing the device which I had stuck in a waistband of my black jeans. How'd you get that thing, she gasps, ogling its thick, fiber-reinforced plastic barrel and Uzi Biotech logo embossed on the magazine, which held two cartridges of gelated recombinant DNA. I got it for Christmas. Do you have any last words before I scramble your chromosomes, I say, taking aim? Yes, she says. You first. Oh, liquid television. Oh, liquid television.
television.